welcome to my channel this is going to be a live plant unboxing i have never ordered plants on line before so these are two shots from etsy i ordered them at different times they happen to come at the exact same time which is strange because one like literally i'm like three weeks apart but anyway uh i'm curious to see what's in the box um yeah i don't want to wait because i'm just like other plants dying in the cardboard but um let's see so it's a big box it literally says live plant the other box is wet on the bottom. I probably should have opened that first. So. Let's see how long this video gonna record for my phone runs out of memory. Plant mail. I never thought I would order plants online because I like to actually pick out my plants i would stand there and i would look and look and look and look and step back and place it around <gasps> this is the which one which, which, which one is this? this is the art and the garden right from etsy so there is a plant teacher that i follow on instagram she's a teacher as well and she's into plants so she has the coolest instagram page about plants and i saw this plant on her page and i was like what plant is that and she said she didn't know but she went and found out of course she was she's a teacher right and she got back to me and i looked it up and i saw more of them on instagram right i hashtagged it and uh <laughs> i found it and i found it um and then I went to Etsy and typed it in. And then at that time, this was like weeks, probably about a month ago. Around that time, um, they had several plant shops that had this plant. But if you look now, you can't find none. I apparently got the last one, which is why I went ahead and put it in the order. Because no, is this, don't, this might be a different shop. I'm thinking this is a big box for this has, because this thing has two. This might be the wrong. Hold on. I know you're like, oh, the plant. Tell me the plant. This, okay, no. This is not, as you can see, it's packaged very well. <laughs> this is not, this is actually sun, sundering succulents. Sundering succulents. So this plant is called the uh, Rosa Clasia. It's so pretty. And it's bigger than what I thought it would be. Look at the little Look how pretty it is. It's a type of palm tree. Ooh, is that a bug? Is that a bug? I'm gonna have to treat it. Make sure it's not like a mite or anything. Make sure. No, it just looks like a little garden bug. Hold on, we <laughs> we can't go through no plant. Catastrophe. I'm still trying to get ready. It's fungus nest. Oh, okay. Maybe it's just like a little fly or something. Okay. Look how pretty that is. It's so pretty. And look how well packaged it is. Oh my gosh. So it's a type of palm tree. And oh, oh it was known as the autograph plant. Like, like, no, no, no. Is it autograph or author? I think it's autograph plant. But yeah, it's like a, you know, English term. So but that's not why I got it, I promise. I, it's just, it's just so pretty, look at it. Okay, 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 okay. There's one plant. So this is Sundering, Sunderling Succulents on Etsy. So I ordered that plant. Oh, and it was like free shipping with $35, so I got $35 worth of plants, right? <gasps> Ooh, 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 ooh. <gasps> it's packaged so good. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is... <gasps> look, 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 look. Oh. No. Oh. Look how neat. I did not expect this plant to be this big. These plants were literally like $10. 
ten dollars, ten dollars a piece. But with taxes and all that stuff, well, I know they both came out. <gasps> what the hell? <laughs> what the heck? I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I know it's like three. Is this? I I did not know that I was getting a. I know we didn't put the big plant down. Cause I, okay, so no. Let's go back. This is not sun, Sunderling Succulents. This is Art and Garden. I'm so sorry. But I thought it was only two plants in here, not three. And apparently, I didn't realize this plant. What's this? Oh, no. It's like a gift. <laughs> That's genius. That's genius. No, 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 no. This is not... I'm gonna have both of these shops <laughs> in the in the description box. Sunderling succulents. Oh my goodness! They gifted me a succulent, just like the name of the company. Oh my goodness! Look at that. That is. it later but that is amazing thank you now back to this plant oh. oh I don't even know the technical name for it but I know it is the zebra plant and it is wet. It is nice and moist. Oh, I'm scared to cut it with the scissors because I don't want to cut the leaves. Oh, oh. Oh, am I still recording? I am. It, they package it so well. Oh. Plant shopping experience online, like really, is it this great? Oh, it's so pretty. No, not that pot. Or maybe that pot. Yes, maybe that pot. Another pot. These pots. Oh well, I don't know if you live. Well, if you do live in Houston, these are from H E B in that little garden. Like literally a dollar ninety eight these little pots well not this one this one is like 2.98 but these are like like a dollar 48 a dollar 50. Oh, it's so pretty it's so pretty it's so pretty oh so that is from sunderling succulents we got that one right sun sunderling succulents the Closia Rosa, a Rosa Cusia, Cusia Rosa. It's so pretty. And I had to get the technical name, but the zebra plant. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, this is there. And then it has live plant on the box. It was packaged so well. I definitely will be patronizing this business again for, for plant mail. Oh, goodness. Okay, 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 okay. Hey, mama. Oh, this is so pretty. And they were such, such good prices. Like, really good prices. So, yeah, I think both of these plants, they both were under 20. Like, maybe $10.99 a piece. Or, I, I, when you put the website, you, you will see. But they, they were not expensive plants. I'm not there yet where I'm paying like $40 for one plant. 
we are not there yet. This box is actually wet, so I'm going to limb and say it's packaged really good. So this one, if that only had two plants in there, this one has three itty bitty plants apparently. So this is, oh yeah, this is Art and Garden. Goodness. Two wood stakes are holding your plant securely in the box. Oh, you can't see that. Please lift up the edges of the outer shipping container to free them and gently remove the plant. Oh, such packing care. Okay. <gasps> this is not one of my plants that's been on my wish list. And like now, they're all sold out again. So this is the one that had the free shipping. Sundering, uh, no, Art, I'm just messing up these names. Art and the Garden. Art and the Garden had the free shipping for like $35. So I ended up getting two plants, but with shipping it came out to be the same price. Uh, so I just got another plant. I've been wanting this plant for so long. Interesting story. I was um, I was in the classroom and I saw one of these dying and I tried to take a cutting from it and it sat in the water for almost a year and finally shot out little roots but once I put it in the dirt it wasn't strong enough to like catch or take root. So and this is small. Oops. been one of these and I've been hoping I will find one. Oh, it got roughed around a little bit it's full of dirt that's okay it's okay you can rinse that off oh. it's a little dirty but the palia the money plant or the saucer plant and I heard they're really easy to propagate once they start shooting off little babies oh, that's already look it already has like little puffs on it. And take these to the sink. As soon as I get through. I already got pots. Oh, that pot is going to be too big. I'm a little succulent. there I don't have a succulent thumb so why not get off it so that is this is beautiful this doesn't even look real like this is so pretty this is so pretty I can't wait till I get a new place that has windows right now this room has all the windows so no of my other plants survive in other spots of the house except for like um plants that are directly in my kitchen window and I have one in a bathroom window but my living room has no windows all the windows are on the perimeter so I have to bring all the plants in here now this says Z which plant is this Z what plant is this the oh This can't be. This is so tiny. These are teeny tiny. Black prints. Oh no, it's glass. This just says Z. Okay, they didn't send me the wrong prints. Oh, that is so small. Look how little this is. What is it? I hope it's. Did I really pay that much for this little bit of print? I don't think I paid, I didn't pay that more than about $10, 15 I know. But what is it? I mean, I know what I ordered, but I can't tell the soap. It is. <laughs> wah, 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 wah. <laughs> I didn't realize it was that small. 
I'm gonna have to, dang it, if I would've known it was gonna be this size, then I would've waited. I just potted one of these. So, interesting story. I got a fungus net problem going on. So this plant, look, I literally had one that was big. It was bigger than the little zebra plant that we just got. It was, it was a very like full size plant of the Calathea, right? But no matter what I did, it just slowly died. It just slowly died. Of course, it was beautiful. I was new to this place, and I wanted it in the living room with me. It didn't make it. I tried in the bedroom. I even tried to, like, make it a home in the shower. Put it on the side of the shower. I didn't even put it in the inside of the shower. Hanging, <laughs> like, on top of the shower. I, I watered it. I, I, I set it on pebbles. No matter what I did, it just would not live it was beautiful it was alive but it just slowly died and turned brown so as opposed to just throwing it in the garbage can since it was still living just dying slowly i decided to take it over to my grandmother's house she doesn't have a green thumb so she kills every plant i give her she, she'll be quite upset if she heard me say that out loud <laughs> To what other people can hear so I said I'll just leave it over here so you know that way it's not like me throwing it away you know see what it's gonna do maybe it'll do better outside it actually did it actually lived outside for like a whole year and it finally like she had some stuff done to her house and she just they threw it on the side of the house and she never went back and got into care of it so it just kind of like fried and looked completely dead like tumbleweed and when I went by there a couple of weeks ago it had like little green new growth in it so I yanked up the little green pieces and just said I didn't know they had bulbs at the bottom like they're bulbs bulbs you have to split the roots and I split off the dead cut it off brought it home watered it putting this in new soil and it's literally like growing it's only been like not even two whole weeks anyway if I would have known that, then that could have fit right in the middle of that one. So, we'll just start this one in its own little pot and see what it does. It's a little baby. Ooh, I hope I didn't damage this one. Last one. Black Prince. I love how they tell you where to open at. Or if you're gonna cut, that's that's it's gosh, such plant care. Like I'm sure there've been some trials and errors, but this is like you can tell that these people really care about plants, and they're not just you know just selling plants just to be selling plants. Someone that takes care like this really wants you to get a healthy plant that is not damaged. So, and the box was wet, I and mean, I'm surprised because I thought the plants were gonna be crumpled up, but they are wrapped so well. And with the little sticks on them, this one doesn't have sticks. Um, but this is probably where the water was coming from, from the box, this is wet. I mean, I was still, uh, I don't know if I would, because I really just wanted the, um, the palia that was the plant but i was like if i'm gonna have to pay more than ten dollars for shipping then i might as well order like plants to match the shipping costs so that's the one i wanted so i'm not saying that i wouldn't purchase from them again but i may not have a reason to so this is oh, it's cute though it's so cute it's so cute oh oh a little ficus plant. So, I have two over there that I got cuttings from a friend and they are slowly dying. So, I was just like, I'm probably not going to even need this. I don't think those two are going to make it. For whatever reason, once I took them out of water and put them in soil, they just did not survive after being propagated. What is this on the leaf? Let me go wash that off. Since I had my first pest scare with like um, spider mites or what I may have thought were spider mites, I really check plants now because 
having a pest problem and all my plants live in one room and quarantining my plants could mean they could die somewhere else that doesn't get enough light. I want to make sure we're not adding no problems. No problem. No plant. That's the last plant. That is the plant unboxing. That was 20 minutes of unboxing plants. Um, overall, I was happy. So the little three came from Art and the Garden. The little three, which makes sense because the other two came from Sunder, Sunderling Succulents that had the little succulent gift. camera trying to die I mean phone trying to die I can't wait to put that in water I hope it grows like I used to have a cactus when I was younger that is a bug it's like a little snail I used to oh no it's not no it's not no it's not it is a root node my bad I just saw another one just trying, that is a root node I can't see it but see that little I thought that was a little snail but it's a root node see because there's some growing out on that side Doo -doo -doo. okay that's it sun sunderling succulents it's yeah that this this plant is beautiful it's beautiful it's beautiful this plant is Beautiful. Okay, that is it. I'm done. Have a good day.